The latest science leaves no doubt. The time for buying time is over. If the world is to avoid the catastrophic impacts from crossing climate tipping points, global warming must be kept under one and a half degrees this century. Many parts of the planet are susceptible to tipping points, meaning that if certain thresholds of global warming are crossed, these planetary systems will undergo drastic and often irreversible changes with immense consequences. The disappearance of the West Antarctic and Greenland ice sheets, the melting of the Arctic permafrost, the collapse of vital ocean circulation patterns, as well as a drying of the Amazon rainforest into savanna, are just a few examples of such tipping points. If triggered, the impacts would cascade through planetary and human systems, potentially triggering further tipping points and resulting in drastic changes to the world as we know it. We now know that climate tipping points can be crossed at much lower levels of warming than previously thought, and therefore much sooner. Reviewing the latest science, the OECD calls for an urgent shift in the extent to which the risk of tipping points is considered within climate policy making. Avoiding tipping points means reducing emissions by half this decade. A big challenge, but one that is still possible if we act fast and together. It means that adaptation to climate change must foster transformation now. It means scaling up technologies to monitor and manage risks while continuing to develop new solutions. Above all, what the threat of tipping points really means is that society, economy and human systems in general need to change faster than the climate. Climate change is happening now, it's happening fast and everywhere. The crossing climate system tipping points will be different. Their impacts will be even more severe and cannot simply be counteracted by more action later. There is only one time to act to avoid tipping points, and that time is now.